Slido has helped us look at our business and to work on the business instead of working in the business. And what it's been great for is giving us a structure for promoting the business, working on marketing, sales, and also looking at different ways of going about things and standing back and saying, what do we want from the business and how we're going to get there? The reason I joined Plato, uh, we went through a, a very uh, rapid growth of uh, the business over a space of 18 months. It, it really teaches you the essence of how to grow your business and how to carry on a stable business without doing everything yourself. I think Plato came along at a very opportune moment. We realised that we needed to change. We wanted to grow significantly. Um, we wanted to improve our business management skills and it's very exciting times at Partimad. We are opening our second store in the next four weeks in Lucan and we have plans to open our third store during the summer in Nace. Um, so success for us has changed over the last year. Well since Plato, uh, it's enabled me to put more thought into what I do and it's given me more focus. Plato has been great for me uh, because of the support it has, has given. I have um, embarked on probably things that I would have, have put off except for I've been going to the Plato meetings. It is great to meet with like-minded people on a monthly basis and no matter how bad things have seemed in the past month, you get into that room with those people who are buoyed up with confidence and you leave full of confidence and I would highly recommend it for that reason alone. With Plato I learned a lot about social media. It's opened a lot of doors for me. And in all the different topics that we did with um, you know, different coaches each time. And what I loved about it was, was that we got the opportunity to actually have input into how the course was going to be run. We had three outstanding mentors from IBM, BMS and DCU. So like they could bring in methodologies and they'd say, okay, this is the way we do it in IBM. Obviously, the way you do it in your time is going to be something different, but it's still going to use some of the elements of that methodology. Another module that we did was on tenders, and um, uh, we didn't realise uh, how, uh, how easy or how difficult it is to, uh, to win a tender, so uh, it, it was uh, very informative. Uh, public bodies um, don't have to go to tender for amounts uh, uh, below 5,000 euros, so, which is most of, uh, uh, a, lot, a lot of our business will be below that and we didn't realise that uh, that sort of business would be available there if we just even approached uh, uh, a public body. Main uh, benefits that we got out of it, uh, we had covered a lot of the stuff in management but it was refreshing to go back over some of the management uh, things, certainly time management and uh, life uh, work uh, balance was, was, was brought up which was, which was a good idea to find the, the true balance between life and work. It's not all work. And the other big change then was at Plato I spoke a lot about my long-standing desire to open Montessori en Francais um, but I really was just stagnated. I didn't know where to go to actually start it. I couldn't find the perfect way of doing it. So by discussing it with uh, my colleagues at Plato, I came to learn that, well, I won't know the perfect method until I try it. So we imp implemented a trial in early 2015, a trial Montessori en Francais, and that has just been incredibly successful. So with the result that we have just recently heard that we're shortlisted for a Euro European Language Labels Award um, for our Montessori en Francais project. We would have quadrupled our turnover and we would have gone from a loss making situation into a profit making situation. And a lot of that is really down to the elements that are inside Plato. I think another thing that a lot of people really overlook until they've actually finished the programme is that being an owner or driver of a business is a terribly lonely place to be. And if you're in an environment where confidentiality is key, but where you're with owners of a business just like yours, it gives you a chance to perhaps relax and to expose yourself and to share some of those difficulties you have and come up with solutions 
that are garnered by the collective wisdom of the group. I think that's possibly one of the things you don't think of that you actually get. It's funny, in a group, you, you know, you could be floundering on an issue and then somebody says something, the simplest of things, why don't you do X? Yeah, actually, yeah, you're right. <laughs> so that was really helpful. So I think the big things for me were around strategy and sales um, and really taking that apart again and really teasing out and really, you know, plotting my, um, you know, doing my slot and all my analysis, etc., etc. But really drilling down into who are you addressing when you want to sell your product and where are you placing that product? You know, where's the point of sale, the point of decision making? You want to be there, you're going to be ready for that person, and you're going to be delivering exactly what their need is. So, it's the starting with the need um, for the customer and placing the customer, of course, at the center of everything that we do, but then working back from that and looking at um, how can we best meet that need where that person is at at that moment in time. So, the, the, the buyer decision point and making sure that it's not good quality care, that it's exceptional quality care. That's what we're about.